Anthony Grasso here bringing you financial news you can use. In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on Sundial Growers. Is this a cannabis gold mine company or should we avoid this one and look at another cannabis company? Let's find out together. I will go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent headline news, financials, analyst projections, and give it my buy, hold, or sell recommendation for both your short-term and long-term growth investors out there. And as always, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below. It definitely helps in YouTube algorithm. And consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you like to hear daily reviews and stock recommendations. So let's get right into it. So uh, Sundial Growers is a cannabis company engaged in the production, distribution, and sale of cannabis for the medical and premium cannabis for the adult use market. In Sundial's purpose-built indoor modular grow rooms, the company produces consistent cannabis in individual and fully controlled room environments. The co company's cannabis products are used as a prescription, medicines, and to enhance social, spiritual, and recreational occasions. The company sells Sundial Cannabis branded dried flower cannabis products in the range of formats such as pre-rolls, oils, capsules, and sublingual. So let's look at some news of the company right now. Sundial Growers announced a $74.5 million registered stock offering. The company currently has some $610 million in cash in addition to marketable securities and loans receivables of approximately $61 million and approximately $1.56 in common shares outstanding. Yes, that is a, with a B, 1.56 billion shares. They, their shareholders have been significantly that diluted over the past year. So let's look, go ahead and look at some of the fundamentals of the company. So looking at the fundamentals, the company currently has a market capitalization of roughly between $1.6 and $1.8 billion. It is projected the company has, uh, 70 million, uh, will have $70 million in revenue in 2020, but with a negative $155 million in earnings uh, at the end of 2020. And those numbers aren't reported yet. Currently unprofitable and is not forecast to be profitable over the next three years. They definitely have a hurdle to, to overcome. But the projected revenues by the end of 2022 is $92 million, with an earnings negative of $29 million. Now, the company is trying to restructure itself from being a wholesale to a retail uh, cannabis provider. So hopefully we can see more growth in the future for this company. Now, currently the company's debt to equity ratio is 158%, which is considered extremely high. And the company has sufficient cash runway right now for about 1.7 years if free cash flow continues to reduce at historical rates of 41% each year. And the company has been significantly diluting its shares uh, with uh, the total shares are growing, outstanding, growing by 1,367%. So what did the analyst say? Let me bring it back here. So the analyst consensus right now is a moderate sell. And there's a couple of analysts that have it as a hold right now. The average stock price target outlook over the next 12 months is only 29 cents a share with a high estimate of 39 cents a share and a low estimate of 19 cents a share. And it's currently trading around $1.14 or so, give or take a few. So going over a few of the analyst reports. Now, the street ratings report is the only one I could find. They have it as a sell recommendation. This is based on several weak investment measures, which they, they believe should drive the stock to significantly underperform the majority of stocks that they rate. The company's weaknesses they saw can be seen in a multiple areas, such as the generally high debt management risk and poor profit margins. Wow, they're not really uh, hot on the stock, are they? So am I buy, hold, or sell recommendation on Sundial Growers? Let me, let me, let me explain this. Here are my thoughts. This is a stock that was targeted recently by the Reddit Wall Street Bets, where one post on Reddit said, let pump the company to get $1.50 today. Absolutely re realistic, another responded. It only took less than a week for ind individual investors on social media to send Sundial Grower stock up 100% to $1.20, and it's off, it's, all -time high. it's off that high right now which was uh, about a 760 percent gain since november so if you held it since november yeah you could have made a huge profit with it so the reddit users basically reasoned they could own a lottery ticket with the hopes of cannabis decriminalization but that hasn't happened yet so with the recent cash injection from its stock sale with around 615 million dollars in unrestricted cash now can that we have to think our, to ourselves can the management capitalize on this financial security that they've uh, given themselves over the next couple of years? That remains an open question to be answered. 
the company's stock was once at risk of being delisted, and if the stock price dips again below a dollar a share, it will be at risk again for being delisted. And with the share dilution out there, there's a good chance you might see below a dollar share price again. What about future prospects for Sundial? That rests with the marijuana reform bill and with what management is doing. Majority leader Chuck Schumer is committing to push a marijuana reform bill later this year. If that happens, this Canadian marijuana company could suddenly see the U.S. market spring wide open. But there are other uh, direct competitors in this field, a lot of them actually. It is unlikely that Republicans and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, or I mean, I'm sorry, Minority Leader now Mitch McConnell, it to no longer be able to block marijuana legislation reaching the Senate floor for vote. So there's real hope that cannabis reform will occur at the federal level in the United States towards the end of 2021, but that's unknown. So what would legalization look like for this company? Cannabis companies would be able to transport cannabis between states and access U.S. banking services and will allow companies in Canada like Sundial Growers into the lucrative U.S. weed market. So would Sundial Growers benefit from this? First, the massive share dilution is basically sinking existing investors right now. This focus was for the company to de deleverage itself from debt, and it did. This helped the company's balance sheet. But with the exponential growth of outstanding shares, investors have little hope for any significant upside potential in the near term right now. Even though with the help of Reddit Wall Street's bets to bring this above a dollar a share in the short term, when the hype dies down, there might be a huge possibility of this stock trading below a dollar a share again and being threatened of being delisted again unless the company can execute reverse splits on the stock potentially in the future or completely change the revenue growth of the company by going from wholesale to retail. Now, then that's what I that's another big point. The company is also going through that big business transition right now. It normally focused on low margin wholesale cannabis operations, but it is now targeting retail and it will take a while for this to happen. It's not going to just happen overnight. I mean, you have to get your whole supply chain up and and you have to have every everything in place that might take a year or two. Now, here would be my long term strategy for this stock if you're betting on federal legislative reform from the United States. If you currently do not own it, I would put it on the watch list this year. And if if and when Chuck Schumer announces that he will be introducing a cannabis reform bill and if it has any chances of passing, then exactly at that point, I would buy in first examine the company exactly where they're at at that point, And then I would buy in. I feel that this stock is too pricey and completely way overvalued at the current levels, taking into consideration the massive dilution of shares. And when the hype dies down over the next couple months, I believe this stock price will dip in the, in the short term. If you already got into this stock under 70 cents a share, though, it might be worth holding on to for the long run. Yes, you would take some downside risk if it ever dropped again. But since the Democrats are in office and cannabis reform has a great chance of passing. But if you're one of the folks who do not believe the U.S. can reform and decriminalize cannabis on the federal level, then I would avoid this one at all costs. There are plenty of other marijuana companies with more significant potential to becoming America's next big tobacco. Look at Canopy Growth and Tilray, for example, which have uh, stable brands and existing supply chains to match. So basically, either way, you're rolling those dice. But I want to know your thoughts. Can this company turn its business model around from wholesale to retail consumers and get that big bump from possibly U.S. reform decriminalizing cannabis at the federal level? Please comment down below. And so there you have it, folks. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you'd like to hear my daily stock reviews and recommendations. Until the next stock update later today, folks, ciao.